Hi guys, welcome back to Tactical Review. So, uh, well, table's empty. Well, not empty. I've got my cleaning mat here, but what we got? Well, I've got a package and I'm super excited about it. Should we see what's in there? What? What? You've already read the video description or the video title. You know what this is. That's no fun. Spoilers. Well, you know what? Why don't... Why don't I... I've got this nondescript little box here. How about I uh, reset the camera and we do this as a proper unboxing? Hold on one sec. Okay, here we go. So... Some of you may recognize this nondescript little box. Uh, some of you may not. So let's, there's no pictures out here. Let's open her up and see what we've got in here. Uh, well, we've got some uh, packing foam and a picture for our new little uh, fake hog or a fake ACOG, ACOG knockoff, whatever you want to call it. Um, got a, uh, microfiber cloth for cleaning the glass, and, uh, here it is. And, of course, the, the silica gel, this is not a ramen flavoring packet. Don't use it as such. Uh, however, you might hang on to that. These are great to throw into your ammo cans. All right, so, right here, we've got a little knockoff ACOG. Of course, uh, if you're familiar at all with uh, military optics, you will recognize the shape. And uh, this, however, is the Terminus Optics TOC or TOC Tango Oscar Charlie 1. And uh, it has the Chevron reticle in it. I will be putting some, I'll be putting up a, an image of that. And you can see, of course, that it is fiber optically lit. Uh, so, and yep, we've got a nice bright chevron in there. And the nice thing is, is that the glass is etched. So even in a low light, no light condition, you'll at least be able to pick it up. But that brings me to a good point. So obviously, um, well, I'll tell you what, I picked this guy up for about $80, uh, which is uh, something like an order of magnitude less expensive than an actual Trijicon ACOG. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna start at the top of the front and kind of go through the ways that you can tell that this is not an actual ACOG. Um, of course, in my case, I purchased it listed as Terminus Optics. Um, Terminus is a US company that imports these under their brand and sells them with a one-year warranty. Um, but it's not uncommon for folks to try to pass these off on eBay as a used Trijicon ACOG and try to command a lot more than what they're actually worth. So just in case, if you've purchased what you thought was a used ACOG, we're going to go over a few ways you can tell that that's not the case um, because the counterfeits will, they will try to sell themselves off physically as an ACOG and there's other YouTube videos where they compare uh, one of these uh, Chinese imports against an actual Trijicon so you can see it side by side uh, I have assimilated that knowledge into my own and so uh, I may miss a few salient points I do not have dear viewers a, uh, an 800 to $1,600 optic sitting here to compare against. So anyway, let's go. I'll hit all of them that I can remember. We're going to start up here with the fiber optic. Again, this is a functional fiber optic, but one thing you'll notice is it's just glued into the channel here. Let's see if I can keep it in frame. Uh, an actual ACOG would be drilled and pinned through here to hold the fiber in place. Um, and uh, then we're going to move down and around to on here. It does have the company brand 
laser engraved into it. It's very nice. It says Terminus Optics. Again, this is Terminus Optics LLC. Uh, this particular model, uh, they have some that are designed solely as airsoft optics. Uh, this one is supposed to be rated for an actual firearm, and their warranty does state that it covers it in that usage. We're going to find out. Okay, um, but the some of the knockoffs will actually be laser engraved with Trigicon. So it's important to know if you do not have an ACOG and you think you're getting a great deal on an ACOG, Trigicon does not laser engrave their logo, branding, whatever, into the body. It is actually cast into the aluminum, into the casting, and it will be a raised a raised logo. It will just be all black, and it will say Trigicon. All right, moving back here to our uh, turret caps for our windage and our elevation. Uh, the uh, a na name band, name band, no name brand. Uh, ACOG will have cables to keep the turrets so that when you take them off, you can just let go of them and let it hang freely. So taking off the turret caps underneath here uh, we do have let me grab my trusty dusty uh, multi-tool here uh, but we have our windage and our elevation and we'll see if I can get this in close to the microphone hopefully you can hear that very nice, very positive um, adjustment notches. Uh, however, you will notice now this one it's labeled whoop, it's labeled R and up, but they are not kind enough to tell us which direction is right and up. And that seems to be common across every one of these knockoff optics. Now we've got a handy dandy operator's manual here and uh, let's just I'm flipping through here real quick and they do not show which way is which so um, I did see on some of the eBay sales uh, that they had a, a picture that showed which way was which and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my metal scribe and I am going to probably scribe in an arrow or an arrow ahead so that I know which way is which so that I don't have to maintain any kind of third party reference. Uh, but there is a rubber gasket down here, a rubber o-ring, um, so these, uh, these turret caps should be rather weatherproof and do their job all right. Okay, moving around here to the top. Now, I don't have a serial number on this um, because this is not trying to sell itself as a Trigicon ACOG. Um, but the ones that are trying to sell themselves as a name brand Trigicon, the counterfeits, will only have a serial number on one side or the other of this joint. An actual ACOG will have both. You'll have a matching serial number in both locations. And then moving around to the side, I believe that the ACOG will also have a serial number here. Um, they've got a QR code. Uh, several things that are missing here, including a warning that the ACOG contains tritium. Uh, the counterfeits will claim to contain a non-existent uh, element called tritium, um, so we can we, they don't have to worry about violating copyright law there or uh, trademark infringement because tritium is not tritium, and these indeed do not contain any kind of tritium. As I as I mentioned, um, if you want 
if you want your chevron or if you have one of the other reticles if you want that lit in a low light no light condition uh, you will probably need a glow stick or a uh, flashlight shining on top of it i mean that's just all there is to it um anyway so what are my plans with this uh well i'm going to mount this to my uh carbine and we're going to take this to the range and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to z i'm going to get this zeroed and uh see if it will even zero the reviews i've read say that that's a good possibility in a lot of the other videos that I've watched. And um, then what we're going to do is after I've got it zeroed, and I'll probably go with a 50-yard uh, zero, we're going to take it over to the 100-yard range and see what kind of a group I can get. And that will probably be hot garbage, and that will be neither the fault of the optic nor of the rifle, but rather the fact that I am not a marksman. But hey, uh, anytime you can go to the range and uh, put holes in paper, it's a good day, right? And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'll probably just dump three mags on the 100-yard range, just ring out some steel and have a good old time. And then what we're going to do is head back to the 50 and see if we've held zero after basically 100 rounds. Um... And then, dear viewer, what I will do is I will just continue to keep you updated on the life and times of this FACOG. So, just real quick, um, before we head to the range, which will be instant for you, but not for me. Sad, sad times. Anyway, um, before we take this, uh, before we end this unboxing and introduction segment, um, I just want to remind you of something. There is a reason that this is off by an order of magnitude on the cost. So even if I say, hey man, this survived, you know, we get 5,000 rounds down the road and everything's holding up great, I, I can't guarantee that the, it will be the same for you. This goes back to, on a range toy, let's go have fun. But if you're going to count your life on it, for the same $80 as this, um, you can, for between $60 and $80, you can get a Bushnell, Bushnell TRS-25 red dot, um, which has been fairly proven. It'll, hang, it'll even stand up to the recoil of a shotgun. Um, or if you bump up to the $120 range, uh, you can get a Sig Romeo 5, which has a pretty cool shake-to-wake feature um, to help you save batteries. Or uh, Hollison has some offerings in there. And uh, I, I've got to say, I'd rather see you go with one of those. Now, with that, I want to mention, so um, one of the cre content creators and uh, firearms instructors that I follow is a uh, regular guy training that's uh, Christopher Bondi and he very recently uploaded a review on the Vortex Spark 2 and uh, the, you can watch that uh, video if you like um, but he he said that he thought that at that price point a Holosun was a better optic and uh, I follow the the uh, regular guy training Facebook page and so I asked him on there I said so you know are you saying that basically Hollison is kind of that entry level and then from there you go to like EOTech and uh, Aimpoint and then go on up from there I said is there anything in between Hollison and Aimpoint that you would recommend and his comment to that was look don't get it twisted anything under an aim point is an experiment so now I get it I mean I'm not in a position to put put an optic on any of my weapons starting at $450 either um, but I would I would it would destroy me 
to find out that at the conclusion of this review, that somebody went out and purchased something like this for their life and liberty gun uh, on the thought that I was fully endorsing and recommending it. And uh, it failed them at the wrong time. So anyway, that's that's just... Uh, I'm done talking about optics that this video is not about. And uh, I look forward to getting out to the range with this thing. So be right back. All right, guys. As you can see behind me, the, uh, the Indiana weather has decided to cooperate. And um, that's given me an opportunity to get out here on the range. And, uh, yeah, I forgot this over here. Oh, as you can see, after I turned off the camera the other night, I got the uh, TOC-1 mounted up. And uh, I warned my wife yesterday that this may end up being a gateway drug. Uh, I might have to get an actual Trijicon ACOG after playing with this. I really do like this. Um, it has the inch and a half eye relief of... I think it's the uh, the Trijicon TA33. I'll, I'll fix that if I'm wrong. Um, and if I do get an actual Trijicon, it will be a TA11, which has a two and a half inch eye relief um, because I do have to kind of choke forward on my cheek weld with this. Anyway, uh, but not only do I have the opportunity to get out to the range, which is always enjoyable, um, but it's Father's Day when I'm recording this, and uh, I have the opportunity to be out here with my dad. He is downrange right now, painting some steel, so uh, otherwise I'd have him come over here and say hi to you guys. Um, you know, I, my love of shooting and uh, a lot of what I believe uh, about being a protector and a provider uh, and a lot of the twisted things that I find funny, that's another story, but that's uh, a lot of that because of him. Um, little piece of free advice that really doesn't go with the optic at all but enjoy your parents while you've got them because uh, we've all lost loved ones and we know that everyone won't be around forever so anyway before i get any more mushy i'm going to uh we'll get ears on we're going to get the uh, some ammo in here and uh, uh just to give you guys an idea of what i'm wanting to do is i will be getting this guy sighted in here on the 50 yard range and uh uh, I could not find that picture that I told you guys I was going to look for uh, that told me which way to adjust the windage and elevation. I seem to recall that right and up were both clockwise. Uh, we'll get that figured out and then uh, I'm going to give myself a cheat sheet. I brought my carbide tip scribe and I'm going to be scratching a chevron into uh, the adjustment knob so I know which way is which and I will make sure to roll in a picture of that on the b-roll. Uh, so that if you guys pick up a cheapie that doesn't have um, an arrow on the adjustment knobs, uh, that you can maybe have a place to start. So anyhow, um, yeah, I've got a target up downrange. I'm going to try to zoom in on that. And uh, fair warning, oh, I didn't tell you the rest of my plan. I'm going to zero this in. We're going to go over to the 100-yard range just right next door. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see what a... Uh, five shot group there looks like uh, fair warning i'm shooting wolf steel case 55 grain it's not known for its accuracy and even more than that i'm not known for my accuracy i can shoot about a minute of torso and that's good enough for what i want to do um at least at this point yes i'm working on that that's why i have a range membership and then uh anyhow after we take a look at what a uh, a group looks like we will send uh, three mags or so downrange on the steel. And then we're going to do another group for accuracy. And we'll come back and reconfirm zero uh, after this first 100 and 120 rounds uh, downrange. We're going to see if the zero is holding. If it does, and I have every reason to believe that it will, then, um, then what we'll do is uh, I'll just... You know, give you an update probably once a month on all of this uh, Chineseium junk that I'm hanging on my rifle here. And uh, just once a month, I'll keep you updated on what's still working and what has dropped dead. Uh, the one thing I will say that I don't like, and again, this goes back to that eye relief, is as you can see, I've had to come clear back to the last slot in my 1913 rail. And um, again, that's why if I buy an actual 
Trigicon. I'm going to go with one that has a longer eye relief. For the time being, I think I'm going to have to look into a set of 45 degree irons. Um, just because though this is a range toy, it's not, I'm not planning on it as a life and liberty gun. Um, you know, the main engine here is uh, Smith & Wesson, good to go for a budget rifle, and uh, having a known set of good irons will give me the option to have this gun in the fight if the worst happens. So, all right, I'm going to get ears on, and uh, I'm going to get zoomed in downrange, and we'll put some poles in paper. <laughs> Well, because I'm the big smart, I forgot my Sharpie. But let's go down range. We'll take a look at uh, how this is looking. Well, and that's a neat trick, guys and gals. Um, so my, my point of aim was right here at the center dot. And, uh, well, the Father God in Heaven knows where those rounds hit. As for my father standing next to me and myself, no earthly idea. All right, well, to quote Adam Savage, formerly of the Mythbusters, uh, failure is always an option. I'm going to go put targets up around the target and see if we can find out where we're hitting. All right, let's get out of the way. As you can see behind me, uh, I have decided to build a wall of targets. Uh, I'm going to more or less be aiming for the center of that whole mass. And maybe this time I can get holes in paper and determine where we need to go from there. Maybe. But it ended up taking over an hour to get figured out uh, which way was which and actually get that optic dialed in. Um, so... Finally got it zeroed. Uh, the weapon is more accurate than the loose nut on the trigger. And uh, so I don't really see a lot of point in doing uh, a group on paper at the 100 yard range, but we will go over there and we'll sling three mags worth at some steel. And uh, then we're gonna come back over here on the 50, grab a fresh circle. There is one or two left on those two targets. And we'll see if we're holding zero after three mags worth so uh, yeah it took me longer to zero that than i thought it would i'm gonna have to fill up some mags but then we're gonna we're gonna turn some lead into powder against some all right i'm leaving you guys down here because it's closer to the action i think it'll be more exciting than just sitting there watching me shoot and this isn't going to zoom in 100 yards so i've got a little set aside over here on the range i'll let you guys look at the shield shield i'll let you guys look at the steel and uh, I'm going to put about four mags worth down, and then we'll go over and check our zero, and then we'll wrap this all up. Here's hoping that we've more or less held zero again. Uh, if we're close, I'm going to call it good, as I am not your squad's designated markman. Markman, marksman. Mouth's getting dry. I'm going to have to go get some water here after uh, we wrap this up. Anyway, so I'm going to be shooting at the top left target of the left hand paper, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how close we still are.
Well, you may have already seen it, but I haven't. So let's walk down there, check it out. And uh, there we have it. We've got some keyholing going on. That's nifty. I'm gonna have to put some. Uh, gonna have to put some um, few rounds down down range on a fresh sheet of paper. Um, so that would be amazing if I've already managed to shoot out the barrel of that Smith and Wesson. And, and as you can see, this is my last set of five. Um, and uh, we are low and right now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to shoot a few more rounds though, and see. Surely that uh, that one four four mag mag dump didn't ruin a barrel. All right, well, good times. Um, I'll be shooting at this target next and see what we see. All right, it wasn't what I zeroed with, so I know that's going to affect that. Um, but for these next five shots, I'm gonna use some M855 ball. Uh, take a little bit of the guesswork out of it and see if I'm getting any more keyholing. I did hold the, uh, I took the upper off and looked down the, uh, took out the bolt carrier group and looked from both ends. The rifling doesn't look eroded at the bore or the throat, but we'll see. All right, anyway, five more. Okay, so the the good news is uh, my M855 none, none of those five rounds keyhole. Um, must add some goofy loaded uh, wolf ammo there uh, that caused those couple of keyholes. Um, like I said, the the rifling in the barrel looked good to the naked eye. Uh, my zero has drifted to the right, so. Okay, we're still minute of man, uh, but this goes back to what I said when I started this segment. This isn't an optic for life and liberty. Uh, so, it didn't take me wrong, long to reach the verdict. Um, buy once, cry once. If you want an ACOG for your airsoft gun, yeah, sure, go with something like this. Um, and like I said, I, I like the concept. I really do. Um, I can see myself saving my, uh, pennies, nickels, and dimes and, uh, saving up towards an actual Trigicon, uh, TA-11, but I'm going to say take a hard pass on the, uh, Terminus Optics Talk 1. Uh, I'm going to re-zero this at another time. And we'll give it a go again, but there is no way underneath these turret caps that I'm seeing, there's no way to set your zero in any way uh, to make sure that it doesn't wander. So um, I will re zero this optic and try again. Um, I'll update it if I have good news. It's probably going to stay on there. Um, I'm tired of feeding batteries to the other no-name red dot that I had. And uh, once again, this is good enough for what it is, which is a range toy. Um, but I, I'm going to say uh, that I'm very glad that I had some Amazon store credit uh, saved up from having a, uh, an Amazon rewards card. Uh, and that I did not pay full price for this, whether it's on Amazon or eBay, I'm going to say don't spend your $80. Uh, I see higher but still mixed reviews for the Bushnell TRS-25, and the only reason I'd hate to see you buy that is because it is batteries, and I, like I said, I like the fact that it's fiber optic. I don't have to feed this thing batteries. Um, aside from that, 
I'd rather see you spend forty dollars more and get yourself a Sig Romeo 5T with the uh, shake to wake feature. Um, that's the red dot that our Indiana State Police are running. And from watching videos on um, a couple other channels, I've seen uh, I've seen badge cam footage of state troopers in other states, and they're running the Sig Romeo optic. Um, may not make it perfect, but it makes it something I'd rather see you trust. And yes, it's 50% more than this, uh, but very, very honestly, I would rather see you throw a good set of irons on your rifle, get proficient with your irons, and um, save up $120 and buy an optic that there's at least police forces relying on. So, anyway, I got to come to the range. That's always a good time. And uh, got to spend some time with my dad. That's the... Uh, shooting you here in the background, that's always a good time. Um, and hopefully I got to do a public service for you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, once again, um, I appreciate your subscribership. If you've stumbled upon this and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe link, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up. Uh, all those things help the channel. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, uh, I've got my Patreon link down below. You can become a patron, and as that gains traction, I am going to be doing monthly giveaways for my patrons only. And uh, please, share the page. Uh, I need those subscribers if I'm going to continue growing the channel. Um, YouTube has some, uh, some landmarks for subscribership, and the next YouTube landmark that I need to hit uh, is 1,000 subscribers, and that seems like a long way away here, Father's Day 2019. Uh, I appreciate the couple dozen subscribers that I already have. Uh, you guys can say that you got in on the ground floor. Um, but if you'd share the channel, it'd really help me out on our way to 1,000 subscribers. I've said it before, I hold no disillusion that YouTube, with their current anti-gun agenda, is going to allow my channel to monetize but I'm going to give it the old college try. Anyway, thank you for joining me. This is Tactical Review. Until next time, shoot straight, stay safe.